All right, so I guess a lot of people have a lot of doubts about the Android phones, what you can do with them, what you can't do with them, and how to do it. Um, one of the things I will be talking about today is about uh, using your phone, uh, well, basically transferring files from your computer to your phone without plugging it in. Um, well, the reason why this can help is because, uh, well, when you plug it into the computer, the phone charges, but it doesn't actually charge as fast as if you had it plugged into the wall. So you can just leave it in the wall and, you know, do this little trick. You, it's, it works wirelessly. You don't need to download any programs. You don't need to do anything. And if all you need to do is that, you know, your, com your computer basically has to have Bluetooth and be able to do this. So anyways, what I do is um, I have a Bluetooth right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on. Um, have a little shortcut right here that turns it on. Just make sure you turn on your Bluetooth. And so there you go. It's gonna turn on. It's on. Should be on any minute. In a second. Mhm. Mm All right. There you go. So we're ready. What you do now is you go to your cell phone and to your Android-powered cell phone or device or anything that you have that's Android you turn on Bluetooth and then you go to the settings you go to wireless and networks and you go to Bluetooth settings so just make it discoverable basically make it discoverable it'll make it discoverable for like 120 seconds or at least mine does and you just okay add a bluetooth device uh, go next and there it is LG DS740 which is the LG Ally so go next and a little okay what you have to do is click this little thing right here OBEX file transfer and just leave it as it is don't configure it unless you want to do a little cool tricks or something. But I'm not going to talk about that in this video because it's just not necessary, really. So you go next, and you can create a shortcut, but it just, you know, I'm not going to do that either. Finish. So it's loading. There you go. You have my Bluetooth places. You just, you know, you have the file transfer. And so if you click on it, it'll basically should go into your files. And right here, you know, there, there's still programs out there. And they have programs in the Android market that, like, basically charge you for an app. Or you have to download as an app if you just want to save space on your phone. And it's a thing that you can already do on your phone anyway. So why have to download an app for something that's just part of the settings on your phone, what it can do. Here you have the documents, Android, Bluetooth, the pictures, you know, downloads, the Kindle, you know, the Kindle folder, Lancer Pro backup, you know, the recycled stuff, music. So let's say I want to, I don't know, get a picture. Just click on DCIM, which is a folder for pictures. You go to camera. And you just grab any of the pictures. You can open, print, send to, blah, 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 all the folders. Cut, copy, delete, or check the properties. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy it, send it over here. And it just takes it and sends it to your desktop. So you just you know, you access it like that. It's right here. Um, and to get a file and transfer it to the Droid, to the Android device, you just, let's see, let's take anything. Let's make a text document. Again, sorry. It's just something small and easy to make. So here you have your text document. So all you do is the same process. 
you drag it over, transfers it, and there it is, your text document. And delete it. I don't want it in there. I don't need it. It's deleted. So basically, yeah, that this helps a lot, especially since, you know, a lot of people don't know how to do this. Or all you have to do is, you know, use your Bluetooth and you don't have to plug in your phone. You can just keep it in your pocket. You can do anything you want with it, you know. Leave a file transferring while you're walking around your room, talking on the phone. If it's like a big group of files like music or something. You could just have them transferring while you're calling someone, while you're video chatting, while you're on the internet, while you're whatever, or, or all of these things at the same time, if for that case. It's Android, you know. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching my video. This is uh, Tech Spy USA, and please, if you like the videos, I am barely starting on YouTube, so just subscribe, comment, um, favorite, you know, ask questions. Send me messages, whatever you would like. I'm here to help you if you have any doubts. Thank you very much.